Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a Talia mid guide in Flex with Dark Harvest and we're going to talk about how to generally play Talia, why Dark Harvest is not picked that much versus Electrocute is going to be one of the questions we are, we are going to answer and we're going to discuss runes, builds, everything that you need to know in order to play this champion. That was a deep word, they are going for the red trinket and... And Pike is gonna pull someone right now. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm playing Talia mid with Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Correction, Ravenous Hunter, Presence of Mind, Cup, Degrace, and this room stats. Because I'm against the Galio, I'm going to be against Galio and Volibear and Ash, which clans would have been a good option, but I really want to get kills, so we're going to see how that works. I'm going for GLP. And it's here. Into Sork Shoes, into, <clears throat> into Orb. Maybe something like Rabadons we're going to see. And uh, we're going to try to stack up Dark Harvest as much as we can. Now, the main thing that you need to know when you play with Dark Harvest is the fact that Dark Harvest is so much more harder to stack up onto the onto the mid lane and onto the top lane. And it's easy to play with Dark Harvest mainly on support and mainly on uh, bottom or even jungle. But I would say that you probably should go for Electrocute on mid and top, unless you think you know they are really going to be fights. I made him here lose that CS, I'm proud of it. Also, somehow, Tam Kench beats Trinda Mirror at level 1. Don't know why they even fought. Right, so I'm gonna get this little nugget here, so we make level 2. I'm gonna cast it, cast an E. Now, normally you would have procced Electrocute here, okay. This is he's winning the trade. <laughs> Normally, you would have procced electrocute here, and that would have been uh, a thing. I'm gonna try to proc here. Corrupting potion stack. Okay, Volibear comes now. I'm dead. So uh, electrocute is much more easily procced by auto attack Q, auto attack, or auto attack E, auto attack. This is bad trading mainly because I'm playing like I would have electrocute, and that's not the point. The point is to try to. Oops. The point is to try to get those uh, those Dark Harvest procs without dying. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not doing a good job at it. Okay, so here we get the Q. He's gonna lose... He didn't lose that much CS, to be honest. But I'm gonna get advantage in CS here. I'm gonna hit the cannon. I'm gonna cast an E. I'm gonna start to push it slowly. Okay. I'm gonna get, oops. My bad, I'm gonna get this one as well. Alright, so the strategy is to try to poke and try to get as many Dark Harvest stacks as possible. Now, this would work best if you would 2 versus 2 with uh, your jungler and the enemy jungler, or if you would gank a lot early on. If you don't, and you play passive, then you chances are you're going to have only one stack of Dark Harvest, which is not going to be so much helpful, because it has a larger cooldown than Electrocute, and at certain points it probably deals even less damage if you're not stacking it up. Okay. Coming, but uh, Trindamere is coming as well. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna put a word here. We're going to be 2 versus 3, but I really want that stuck. This guy is following me. Okay, we're, we're winning this, we're winning this. By far we're winning this. What? He jumped that way? Alright, let's just get this for free. Maybe even push it. Man, don't use your... Okay. Save me! I inted. <laughs> but if he gets the kill here, it's totally worth it. Because double kill on Trindamer. I really thought I associated Trindamer's teleport in my brain with uh, <laughs> Tav teleport. I was like, ah, I'm fine. And then I got uh, I got destroyed. But Tav with double buff is just going to eat this guy alive. He has no 
He has no teleporting, he lost a huge minion wave. We also have three stacks of Dark Harvest and four kill participation already. So we are doing what's indeed required to play this. We are doing what's required to play this. Okay, and we also get a full combo here. Look, one more stack. Again, the downside, huge cooldown. The upside, lots of damage if you stack it. But if you don't play it like this, if you don't play it so dumb and so animalistic as I do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but we're winning this, right? Okay. I suppose I could just... Okay, we see Volibear here, so... If I do a proper E... Oh, turn around. I dare you. I just want him to lose some CS out of it, that's all. Or... Okay. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. And you're going to kill him. Presumably. Okay. That was a bit lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. that was a bit lucky. Still. Luck is part of the game. I thought I was level up I would level up, but I honestly thought I would live without it. I think I still would. I'm not completely sure. I need to watch the replay for that. Alright, so he used teleport, we're gonna get a vision word and we're gonna get this. I'm gonna refund stuff. Because I want the boots. <laughs> Vision Ward would have been also good, but seeing that Volibear is behind and we are dealing lots of damage with the Dark Harvest stacks, we're good. This guy will probably keep destroying the top, the Trindamere, I don't, I fully expect him to win by this point because he will just go full armor. Trindamere in full armor doesn't work necessarily unless he's fed. And I'm gonna ping that, I'm gonna get this, well, as you can see I'm trying to save Qs for, uh, for hitting the cannon. Okay, gonna proc that uh, dead man plate, and we're gonna back off. I'm gonna put an auto attack. I have that uh, play style of trying to reset. Okay, we don't, we don't do that. We don't do that because it's gonna turn into two versus three. We just go do it later, okay? Because uh, I could, I could probably try to save it. Come here to me. Uh, no. Oh, that would have been something. Would have certainly been something. Could probably try to get the kill here. And I'm I don't think he used ult. He's gonna get the free farm. Alright. Gonna ping that he's missing. Gonna go back to mid. Gonna try to get another Dark Harvest stack on the guy. Could have gone there faster. I think I think at this point, if I would have GLP, I would have destroyed him. But I could still probably inflict lots of damage onto the guy. Okay, nice. I'm gonna cast, uh, I'm gonna cast Ignite because uh, my team is also coming. Not sure whom, but... Okay, I got it. Thank you for... Don't steal that. You don't have, you don't have stacks. <laughs> Alright, so we got the free kill onto the Galio as well. Now, what would work here would be a plate, which will happen. And I'm seeing some form of gank on both of them. Okay. Oh! What was that? Right, so. Uh, I also see. Yeah, this star is just getting destroyed. Don't think I can do much to save him. But. Nah. Man, this is a bit much, a bit too much, why didn't he ult? Could have probably saved me from that. But yeah, that was a flash, ult, Galio ult, Ash Arrow ult, that was a lot of investment for a kill that wasn't even a shutdown I suppose. But it's fine, they got the kill, I could have flushed out, I could have flushed out, probably. Bet I didn't react fast enough. We got the tower on top already? The right? Okay. Gotta wait, man. 
Okay, this is a free kill. Certainly, most likely a free kill. Gonna cast the combo here though. Because I really... I'm gonna get the combo back by the time it's actually needed. See? That slow is also good. I don't even need the combo. I got the cannon there. I got more gold by doing this. And... Dark Knight, it's, but it's fine. I'm gonna get plates on mid. If Volley comes, I will just 1 versus 1 here, to be honest. Because he needs 3 in the Mercury if he wants to do more. So we are at 7 stacks. 7 stacks, 2 to 5, over Fat Hecarim. Things are looking up, baby. Things are looking up. Gonna get another plate here. And I know for a fact that Galio will have Nolt. And so I could probably create something now. Could probably go around bot. Because there is a slim chance that Volibear is around. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. That didn't work out as planned, did it? Alright, that was some trading in and out. We don't see Volibear, we don't see Galio, we back off. We back off. Alright. Maybe... Maybe I'm going to kill this guy, but it's not a given. Where is Tha? Okay. Okay. Back off. Back off! Could have, could have lived, man, here. Okay. Got the ash. <laughs> this, this. And also on mid, as you can see, we get a free frigging tower. So yeah. If Hecarim bought her to come, perhaps we would have done more. But we got we got the tower, it's fine. What is this? What are you doing, buddy? Alright. They're not going anywhere. Oh no! He really got that max range off, did he? Alright, 11 stacks in 12 minutes. That's the best case scenario, to be honest. It is, you could do it faster. It's probably one of the best. What are you doing? Why, why did he do that? That was hinting. Now, when your jungler does that with a huge bounty on top of your head and against a spawning Drake, you're gonna ask yourself. You are already dead. Why? You're gonna ask yourself why? Gonna get a lot of damage here. Tempting would have been also to get a Rabadon sword. Okay, we have top. Never mind. Got this going, guys. What is Jin doing, man? Kite it, man. I'm also coming. I would vote they have no chance. If I reach it in time. Yep. Tau is invincible there. You don't. You don't fight the Tau. You don't. An overfed tank. You don't. You might lose plates on top. We don't even lose plates on top. Because it's minute 14 already. Man. Yeah, I guess I guess we won. That was the game, guys. <laughs> that, I mean, I don't see any realistic way in which they could come up with ways to beat us. Unless my team is like insanely well. Which I doubt is gonna happen. I mean we probably get the kill on Ash now. And Trindamer is just farming there. I could technically fight him. But I would not want to. And yeah, that's the inting part that we talked about. Okay. I'll do a W under myself. I'm gonna cast an ult to chase him up. And I'm gonna miss that. Still gonna catch him though. I have the passive. Still gonna catch him. Yep, so that's that's how we played it. We didn't jump under the tower because he would have killed us. We'll just screw the tower. It would have been dead anyways because he will split push the entire game. But we did get the easy kill on him without any stress. Now the stress would have been the problem because if I gave a shutdown to the guy... No, no. Big no. Now in this way I'm just free to do whatever I please. 
just to push this, get level 12, 12 stacks, also having Rabadons before Sorcerers, don't do that, it's stupid. But at least I have the insane burst that it offers. Alright, so we can go now to the mid and to other objectives, should have stayed for more mana. Bot lane is inting a bit, but the pike will never carry, most likely, unless he's a god. Uh, even if he's a god, we have Hecari Mental. How, how does Pike kill that? They don't. He doesn't. No one in their team can, in their right mind, have any chance to kill Ta and even overhead Hecarim. Oops. I, I was aware that I'm gonna lose this. I'm coming, but you are in so much trouble. Man, you aren't even running towards me. Okay, coming. Okay, got one. I'm not sure if he has ult. Hecarim is still gonna catch you, buddy. Yeah. Let's just... No, no, no. Yeah, we don't. We don't catch Trindamer. We could get Herald for free. But you can see the damage, the insane damage this thing does. Are they really losing this? Okay, I see how they are losing this at a dash. <laughs> they are dash. 1% HP. I mean, if they hard push, you, you would assume they are winning, right? But it, apparently Ash escaped barely. Well, Fed Ash still bad, because she technically has all the pike kills. Uh, okay. You get it. Left this, please. No? Okay, we don't, we don't have this. Alright, he still went. Good, so 14 stacks, that's how it That's how it should be done, that's how it works. You need to look for the early skirmishes for the trades, but if you play as aggressive I played in the first 3 levels, you might just get ganked by the enemy jungler and int. So we don't, we don't want that, we know, we don't, we don't want that. What we want is good, smart early skirmishes, preferably if you are having your jungler with you, Duoing would probably help. I missed another cannon, just added to the pile of thousands of cannon missed this year. Alright, that pike really wants to die. That ash is dead. I really don't see ways in which this ash lives here. And you can see the proc of the Dark Harvest, man. It's insane. Get it? Hope he did. There's also a fight here. They don't have ADC. They don't even have the Trindamer. Okay, go. You can see the Dark Harvest proking. You can see I don't have it on cooldown, ever. Wow, I'm doing my Q through him, man. That was a bad positioning for the Q. Okay, let's just destroy the base, because I have 17 stacks. Turn them are not even ulting, I suppose. That's the game. Alright, we could... okay. Would like just die for. Yep, getting all the kills because of those dark harvest procs. And we even breached the base here. Breach the base, boys. Okay, tank the tower, tank the tower, we end the game. Okay, I need to be out of this. No, you saved him! More dead. What is this? This guy is trolling. Just in and out, in and out. Pike missed the ult. Heard it. Can't get any more closer than this though. stuck in everything but still 20 stacks in 19 minutes that's the definition of doing the right thing could have played better there could have definitely played better now what's 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 the item that we want to get here maybe more than we can because of the extra heal and anti heals on pike and on turn my volley bear maybe Maybe kiting with Relight because we're against Trindamer, but that kiting power is so useless. Maybe Twin Shadows? Mm. Nah, we're going for Zonias. It's up here, it's ready. 
for the last fight for the next level. They are really trying though. It's interesting to say the least. Uh, if Hecari means here, then yeah, they try better, try well, but. Uh, in this meta right now, Hecarim is very strong. If you see him on tier list, he should be S plus tier every single time. Because until the nerfs, he's insane. Same as Caitlyn, same as some other things. Even Jin. Jin is strong as well. And we get Baron and win. Normally, games don't go this well. Come on. Come on, buddy. Have the vision work right here. I don't know why I'm tanking the Baron though. Make an effort and come here, they want to lose already. Look at the stream the mare. Okay. Could probably get rid of Pike here. Ah, okay, don't care that I missed it. To be honest. Okay, we could reset. Zonia is good in this context, by the way, because of the fact that we can nullify Pike ult, and if you nullify a Pike with by a Zonia, basically you make him useless, because that's what he's good at, finishing stuff, and I doubt he will do anything without it. I could even ult and Zonia out. Okay. Like this, get the Ash. Okay. Can you hit me, please? Excellent. They missed a lot of stuff. I, I had Zonia, so Tab had time to rearrange himself to save me there. And we got the Ash Flash anyway. I don't have infinite mana. That's the problem. We need to get the kill to have infinite mana. And that's annoying. Okay. And do we get the Ash? We don't. Okay, they did a good fight. Hecarim was late, but we should still win. Should still win, mainly because Hecarim is too far ahead. They used every single resource on me, they killed me, and that was it. No one else in the team is low besides Hecarim, who would have still probably healed a lot. He doesn't play with secondary precision, though. Although that was the game, I inted a bit now in the last minutes, but as you can see by the kill participation, 25 out of 35, most in game. That was the game, I really hope you enjoyed Talia with Dark Harvest and see you next time with probably ranked games from top lane. I'm 100 LP in Grandmaster, hope to get higher eventually to play more and we're going to do so. Going to try the best and we're going to win, hopefully. See you next time guys, have a nice day, week, month, wherever you are and goodbye.